Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're going to talk about the narcissist, why they cannot be alone. Have you noticed that um, they go into different relationships really quickly? Often that person is somebody that they've already lined up on the side. Um, they also can't be alone um, in different instances. We'll talk about that. Uh, sometimes that's why they go to church uh, or synagogue. They just want to be around people. They don't want their thoughts to, to surface. Um, a lot of times uh, that causes them to uh, self-reflect a little bit. Um, when they're alone, uh, they don't have anybody to validate their feelings. Um, some of them, are, the vulnerable narcissists are ones who play the pity party. Um, and they don't have anybody validating uh, their thoughts. Um, uh, often they'll be like, I'm the worst, whatever, or, or I suck at this, or I'm not worthy. Um, and they do that because they want us to counteract it with, no, you mean a lot to me, or you are really special, or remember, you're really good at painting. Um, so they need their ego stroked. Uh, and when they're alone, there's nobody to do that. Um, and they'll latch onto supplies that will validate their feelings, not just interact with them, but to validate uh, what they're needing to, to feel. So um, they want to counterbalance it. So when they're negative, uh, they want somebody to bring them back up uh, to get rid of those thoughts. Um, if they're the egocentric uh, to where they um, have that false sense of grandiosity uh, to where they're fantastic people, um, they know they're not. And so they need somebody to uh, stroke their ego that way. Um, so they either need to show off uh, to have somebody compliment them um, or, uh, you know, to notice something special about them, whether how uh, beautiful they are or how funny they are, something uh, about them uh, they need validated. And when they're alone, um, they, they are overwhelmed with their own feelings, just like when we're alone, we're starting to go through uh, the rumination, um, the, the thoughts of the mind can become overpowering, it, it can destroy your day, it can destroy your outlook, it can be exhausting, you might want to take more naps. Um, that's why in the healing process, it's good to reconnect with friends and do some activities, um, give your mind a break. Uh, and that's kind of why the narcissist does that. Um, you know, so when we go out uh, to enjoy time with our friends, we go out to enjoy that time, um, to interact in a healthy way. The narcissist uh, will go through their list of who is highest priority to fill their needs, uh, stroke their ego, uh, boost them up, whatever it is. Um, and often when they're in a relationship, uh, they'll do something called monkey branching, uh, kind of like monkeys. They hold on to one branch and they don't let go until they hold on to the other. So they know they're never going to fall. They're never going to be without some security. So the narcissist uh, lines up the, the new supply, wherever that new branch is. If he's not happy in some way or not getting enough, um, or it's just not going how he thought he might be getting enough. Um, but it's a drug. He wants more and more and more. Uh, so even if you guys have a great sex life, it seems like you're communicating well. Um, he might, or she, I'm sorry, he or she might um, feel that they're a good lover with you, but they want to be a good lover with other people. It's a conquest. It's um, the thrill of the chase. Do they still have that? Do, do other people still want them? Um, and then since it's a new slate, a whole new start over, uh, there aren't any issues. So often that's why they'll end up leaving is because there aren't any issues. But with the new supply, those of you who are worried about that new supply, there's always going to be baggage. These narcissists will always cause there to be baggage in whatever relationship they're in. So that relationship's going to fall apart too. And that's why you see these cycles where, um, you know, uh, it, it just doesn't last. You know, you look at the divorce rates, um, and uh, the seven year itch, people start uh, questioning things. Um, you know, a, a true empathetic person, uh, you know, um, we do evaluate things, but if things are going good, we, we don't have that seven year itch. We're not like, is this really worth it? Like, you truly love the person, you accept them for their faults, um, you try to build them up, they build you up, and things. Uh, um, are, are cohesive they work together but when you always have to stroke somebody's ego um you know uh for everything you know it's like oh they woke up wow you know um 
it can be exhausting because we don't know when they're down in the dumps because sometimes they'll give us the silent treatment that we don't know what they're going through we don't know what they're feeling we don't know uh what their issue was with us a lot of times too is this is what we got to understand though is a lot of times it's not even about us individually it's about their inner turmoil so they had a bad day at work they're going to lash out on you um and it's not fair because you didn't cause the situation you're trying to be helpful you know you might even suggest you know would you like me to make dinner and then they yell at you for you should know isn't it dinner time you should know uh so you gloss that over and you're like okay well would you like hamburger or pizza and then like jesus do i like can't you tell i'm having a bad day and you're like okay so i was trying to make it better and, and then you make the wrong thing because they didn't answer and uh it's a vicious cycle and it starts like really starting to hurt um our inner being when we're with these kind of people um so no matter what we do uh we're not gonna win um they they need to get rid of that anger somehow so they put it onto us um because we are the closest people and what gets frustrating um and, and they'll take advantage of our love because they they feel they're never going to lose us so why not just lash out you know um if there's no repercussions just like if you were going to go steal something if there's no repercussions like heck why not you know people don't steal because of the repercussions and some people still do but um you know in general if there's no repercussions um you know the narcissist uh just keeps lashing out at us um and eventually you know you start building up boundaries and and they're like well we didn't agree to that in the beginning and they don't like uh adjusting to any new rules um because you know uh we're putting up boundaries to protect ourselves because it's starting to hurt we're starting to get out of this vicious cycle and you know we'll even allow them uh to have some boundaries that we'll respect but then uh they have a resentment for our boundaries so even though we're trying to um come to common ground um narcissists tear that down uh the resent that they have over little things things that they agreed to you know um they don't discuss what's going on inside that head um so it's hard to please them but that's why they can't be alone um you know they'll, they'll put up the fake facade to uh you know um seem like one of the best church or synagogue goers or a mosque or whatever type of religious uh building you go to um and it's all a facade and people fall for it because you know um you like to believe that people are good at heart especially somebody you're in a relationship with that promises you the world uh promises to work things out with you um and then once they're alone um you know they 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 might look back like yeah it's probably kind of crappy that i did that um and they're just mad it's kind of like the thief that gets caught they're not they're not mad they did what they did they're just mad they got caught um and you know uh some of these uh my degrees in criminal justice but some of these murderers they they don't care they, they don't care they just murdered someone um the only remorse they have uh or regret is that they got caught um some of them are cold-hearted and just like some narcissists you know some are uh terribly cold um they're mad they got caught they're mad that we took away a supply uh if they cheated you know um so so if we left them uh they're mad they lost lost the supply um they're mad that we weren't more understanding um they're mad that their lies didn't work um but they don't have that like I, yeah i i shouldn't have done it they're like it's in the past get over it um or i won't do it again and then they just have a cycle because once you accept that um they feel it as like a permission and they also feel it as um challenge accomplished to where i did it and you know, i got caught now i got to be more careful but it worked and i'm still with this person um but be careful with uh you know securing a future with them um you know uh you can't walk on eggshells you have to be completely confident and stroking their egos and available to them um you can't have your own life uh they're going to start to destroy you you're going to start to feel so alone 
And if you guys can comment below, um, some of you might feel uh, afraid or threatened. Uh, sometimes it gets physical. Um, I was lucky mine didn't get physical, but uh, it, it was very lonely. You know, um, you can't share your opinions uh, because they're not validated. Um, you have to watch what you say. Like I said in another video, I talked about two of my friends had done something and my ex was like, do I even care about them? It's like, I was just trying to, you know, start a conversation that could have led into other things. You know, you could just go on with it, uh, easily, quickly redirected it, but acknowledge what I'm trying to say and say, oh, well we could do, you know, just quickly change it. We don't even have to delve into it. Um, but the way they handle situations like that are hurtful instead of constructive. Um, it, you know, uh, if you notice narcissists love to talk about themselves um they'll self reflect turn, turn the situation around so it's on them uh even the blame um it's very odd how how the blame comes up um because they'll say some off the wall things that often don't make sense and that's when they're projecting um so be be cautious of that that's a red flag but narcissist cannot handle their own emotional thoughts um, because they're usually negative. They don't sit around when they're alone and think, you know, I can't wait till this summer, I'm going to build a deck or whatever is going through a positive mind. Um, or maybe I'm going to sit down and maybe I can plan something for the grandkids and do some research on uh, water parks. Um, they just self loathe and um, they are going through some pain. You know, just like we're going through pain, they've had emotional abuse, we've had emotional abuse because of them. Um, but often their abuse was from childhood. And uh, with childhood, you escape, you turn into an adult. So they're no longer in that abusive relationship unless they put themselves into it. But, you know, uh, some of you, if you got married in your 20s or 30s, um, you can go through 30, 40, 50 years with these people. So they had abuse as a child with no escape. Um, and we're in these relationships, we can escape, but we choose not to often because of that trauma bond, often because we are positive people to where we see a light at the end of the tunnel. But that light at the end of the tunnel it is not some rainbow it's it's a fire it's it's pure destruction um we we see the love bombing stage and that's in our head like this is possible but um the narcissist once once they start to devalue you um it's almost like uh everything goes downhill from then you know just like uh a lot of times gone by from that love bombing stage to where they don't want to put the effort in so just like if I was a gymnast when I was young and time goes by, I don't really put the effort in. And then all of a sudden I think I can get back to doing back handsprings. Um, it's a lot harder. Uh, my confidence is down. Um, it's, you know, is it really worth it? So the narcissist in the relationship is it's like, it's been a period of time. Now I got to work on it all over again. Uh, is it even going to work? Uh, they have a lot of negative thoughts. Um, they just don't want to put the effort in because too much time's gone by, they've gotten older, they're just sick of it, why not just start over? And um, it, it's really sad what they throw, th throw away. I know a lot of you guys are really good people, really loving people. And the things we get discarded for, um, you know, uh, are some of the lamest excuses. You know, mine was I got a speeding ticket on Valentine's Day going across state after, um, you know, traveling four hours, uh, rearranging schedule with coworkers, uh, getting a babysitter, um, and I get a speeding ticket that I had to pay for. He didn't, um, and and that was a reason to throw away a whole family. So they just come up with excuses. Uh, they don't want to handle anything. You know, something as stupid as a, a you know um, speeding ticket, or you know, getting ticked off that I wiped down the counters too wet. Um, that was an irritation. It's like, you know, they're not thankful that, that you clean or, you know, do things. Um, and it, it, it's just mind blowing how they are, but, um, 
you know, don't look down on yourself that there's something that you did wrong. Um, you know, sometimes we do the reactive abuse uh, and, and it, it just gets out of hand. Uh, it shouldn't even start with, there, there should be nothing for us to react to. You know, um, they should talk to us kindly. We should talk to them kindly and it all works out. We can agree to disagree. Uh, but instead, it's arguments or silent treatment and, and no way out of it, um, no way to get to the heart of the problem. Um, so when it is addressed, it's all lies. And then we start to question them because we're smart people. You know, we're like, that doesn't make sense. And sometimes we want to follow up with it. Um, and then they get irritated, you know, so sometimes we can internalize it, but that eats at us. And it's just unhealthy all the way around. But I just wanted to let you guys know that um, narcissists can't be alone because of their own inner thoughts are so negative and they need that validation or they need that false sense of self to be validated by other people. And they'll manipulate people to get that. Um, you know, often they'll just show up at your house uh, just because they're they feel entitled to have their ego stroke. They don't care what you're doing, uh, if it's convenient time for you. Um, they're just uh, often rude and um, they interrupt, uh, they interject and uh, they purposely cause chaos. Um, they get a kick out of that. Um, uh, it kind of balances the energy that they got going on. They got overstimulation of negative thoughts so they got to over, like compensate their their surroundings so the energies match um but they do it in such a negative way you know um but what i'd like you guys to do is balance some po positive energy today so get some good thoughts going and do some activity that's full of positive energy so balance your energy bring it up a level today uh or tomorrow let me know what you ended up doing i went for a walk with my dog and uh it was kind of nice this new neighbor kid asked if i was coming over to play like uh dart guns or something uh so you meet people <laughs> i ended up not playing but it was it was just sweet just you know it kind of felt good that you know um the kids in the neighborhood just kind of want to have some fun and, and just you know play tag or something but uh you're gonna meet people you know he 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 was a kid so i didn't go do it but uh it was like in between stage where i didn't think i should but it was a kind-hearted gesture and uh, i just acknowledged it you know let him know that that was really nice you know um people are people you know so you're gonna meet some people and please tell me uh, any topics you'd like covered. One-on-ones are available and have a great day today. Make it the best you can. Big hugs.